Greetings fellow Dragon Ball fans and collectors. I'm the DBZ Collector and I'm here to help you start a Build Your Dragon Ball Collection. Today we'll be taking a look at the Ichiban Kuji Dragon Ball vs. Omnibus uh, Ultra Prize E Goku in base form wearing yard drag clothing. I got him from eBay along with the others for a really good price. If you only if you don't if you only want this if you only want this figure, uh, I get it from uh, Big Bad Toy Store or Otakumo.com. If you were to get all the overseas prize figures and then buy Boo, you'd be paying like 120 bucks more than if you were to get all the prize figures from eBay for like 500 for like 600 bucks. Uh, anyways, uh, before we get to the figure, let's look at the box first. Here's the front, one side, the back. The other side, the bottom, the top, and the Toei Animation sticker, which is this figure's sticker of authenticity. Let you know that he is real and not a bootleg. And now let's take him out of the box. The bubble wrap. They're treating Goku special. No. Based on Dragon Ball Super, he is kind of special. This is how he comes packaged. And the heads. Get his headless and armless body. You get two different arms. Ankle support, and then the heads. You get two of them. Okay, you get a delighted look on his face, head, and you get the head that comes with Master Roshi's glasses. He does not need the ankle support, which you just saw, but we're going to use it anyways. And here he's put together where he stands at... I will just say 11 inches. Between 10 and 7 eighths to 11 inches. He's 11 inches, okay? Get over it. I'm pretty sure they used the uh, Super Saiyan version for this, so obviously the sculpt looks fantastic. A great job with this figure and they captured his likeness beyond extremely well looks just like his uh, anime counterpart I don't know if it's focusing sorry if it's not this has got shading on his pants very dark red shading and he's got some shading on his face and his hands his skin and now for some figure comparisons. Here is compared to the Ichiban Kuji, Dragon Ball vs. Omnibus Ultra, Prize A, Super Saiyan Gohan, Prize B, Potential Unleashed Piccolo, Prize C, Imperfect Cell, and Prize D, Super Saiyan Goku. And here is compared to the Dragon Ball vs. Omnibus Z Goku. I like how his black hair is standing up. It looks cool. Almost like the false Super Saiyan in the Lord Slug movie. And the Dragon Ball vs. Omnibus Super Ultra Super Saiyan Future Trunks. 
And here is compared to the Super Master Stars Peace, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And the Grandista, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And here is compared to the Back to the Film, Super Saiyan Gogeta. And the Maximatic Goku. If there are any other figures I'm to compare them to, then let me know in the comment section below. And I'll reply back as soon as possible with an image of the comparison. Assuming that figure is not packed away. Uh, most of my figures are. Pretty much the big ones are uh, out in the open. The small ones like the uh, DXF and the Cho Sinchi Red Student figures. Stuff like those. Those are packed away. Alrighty then, that concludes this review. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down. But I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have this figure, then let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and opinions on them. If you don't have them, let me know what you think based on what you see in this video. And if I'd like to buy this figure separately, then in the description box below, you'll find links to some places that have them for pre-order. If you want all the figures in this line, get them from eBay, less than 600 bucks, if you can. No more, no more, if they don't have the extras, like the towels and stuff, then no more than 575 if you can. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.